Hi kindergartners, today we're going to read chapter 5 of Sunset on the Sabertooth. I'm so excited to find out what's going to happen to Jack and Annie. As we read chapter 5, we're going to be making inferences, just like we did the last chapter. Making an inference is thinking, what does our character know and what does our character think? And that's without the author telling us. So without the author telling us, how, what do we think that Jack and Annie feel like? What do you think they know? We're making inferences. That's what we're going to think about as we read this next chapter. And chapter five is called Snow Tracks. Oh, we know the last time we, we saw Jack and Annie in chapter four, they were in the cave. They saw the paintings on the wall. Oh, I'm so excited to find out why this is called Snow Tracks. Here we go. Let's start reading. Chapter five. Wow, what is this place? Said Jack. Maybe it's an art gallery, said Annie. I don't think so, said Jack. It's too hard to get to. He read in his book about the cave paintings. These Ice Age beasts were painted 25,000 years ago. Cro-Magnums painted pictures of animals that they hunted. They may have believed the paintings would give them power over the animals. Well, wow, look at this, said Annie. She pointed at a painting further down the wall. It showed a figure with human arms, human legs, reindeer antlers, and an owl face. And it seemed to be holding a flute. Jack looked at the book again. He found the picture of that figure and read, cavemen may have been led by a sorcerer or a master of the animals. He may have worn reindeer antlers so he could run like a reindeer and an owl mask so he could see like an owl. I'll show you guys this picture. So I'm just, I'm just gonna start thinking, wow, look at that beautiful artwork in the cave. Here's his reindeer antlers. He has human arms and human legs, a flute, an owl mask. This is what the caveman painted 25,000 years ago. Wow. Let's keep reading. What is it, said Annie? It's the master of the animals, said Jack. He is a sorcerer. Oh, wow, breathed Annie. That's it. That's what? That's who we have to find. Why? Maybe, Jack, he's a friend of Morgan's, said Annie. Jack nodded slowly. Maybe. Let's go find him, said Annie. They went back through the tunnel into the first cave. We better put our lamps back, said Jack. He and Annie blew out their lamps. They placed them back by the fire. Jack's backpack was on the floor next to the skins. He put the Ice Age book in it. Just put his book in his backpack. They're packing up. How's Peanut, said Annie. Jack looked in his backpack. Look in his backpack. She's not here, he said. So I'm gonna pause her and think. I'm gonna make an inference. I'm gonna think that Annie is feeling a little worried. Jack just told her that Peanut's not there. So what is, without the author telling us how she feels, I'm already thinking she's feeling a little bit scared. We love Peanut and Peanut is missing. So I'm just making an inference that Annie's just feeling a little bit worried. Oh no. Let's see what happens. She must have crawled out when we were looking at the paintings, cried Annie. Peanut, called Jack. Go ahead and call with me, call for Peanut. Peanut, called Annie. Annie walked slowly around the cave, looking into the shadows. Jack peered around the fire and under each of the furry skins. Jack, come here, said Annie. She was standing near the entrance of the cave. The snow had stopped falling. In the snow were tiny tracks. Let's think here. Wow, that's why the chapter was called Snow Tracks because they found tiny tracks. And I'm just gonna make a guess in my head that the tiny tracks were Peanuts tracks. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna think in my head. Make it a little guess. Let me show you guys our story card. We drew that painting that the caveman drew 25,000 years ago. The reindeer antlers, the owl mask, the arms and legs playing the flute, and it's on the cave wall. And then the tiny little tracks in the snow. This is the ground and that's the cave wall. That's what we drew. Thanks so, so much for listening, friends. I'm so excited to read chapter six.